airport airport traffic that is is dwindling daily at CVG and that might create financial problems for people who depend on CVG for work. WCPO 9 News reporter Courtney Francisco tells us the one thing airport leaders say is protecting CVG from money problems. Leaders here are talking about flight cancellations, the empty kiosk and stores and how that affects employees here. They're also talking about the summer travel season coming up. An almost empty CVG is preparing for more loss as we approach what is usually a busy travel season. I've never seen it like this. Tanisha Ritchie is a travel nurse flying from her home here across the country to treat COVID-19 patients. So before here, I flew into Chicago. You know how O'Hare is? It was a ghost town. Yeah weird. Ohio and Kentucky governors only want essential workers like her traveling. That restriction took effect March 30th with no end date. CVG says before then passenger count was 11 to 14,000 people a day. Now it's several hundred. Things have just really gotten down to the very bare bones. Spokesperson Seth Cutter says the airport is preparing for hard times by cutting certain operational expenses, like shutting down moving walkways to save on the power bill and delaying capital projects like the smaller construction jobs. It has not laid off anyone. He says one thing protecting CVG from major financial loss is the decision to build up cargo revenue and develop property for shipping companies over the last decade. We definitely are uh, very well positioned financially, but to say that this is not impacting the bottom line would be disingenuous. Right now, though, CVG says airline workers and store employees are feeling the pinch. In the terminal, one kiosk worker with no customers. Air Canada and Vacation Express suspended all flights March 25th. There's a flight board full of cancellations. There's no one on the airline. Signs here warn, don't travel if you feel sick. Cleaning staff are constantly wiping, hoping to keep nurses like Richie healthy enough to care for us. We still have to fly, so. And things change pretty quickly around here. So the airport officials are updating their website with any airlines that are closing down, any flight cancellations and cleaning routines. I'll put a link to that on our website, WCPO.com. Just click on this story. Reporting in CVG, Courtney Francisco, WCPO 9 News.